Well, I played at Musgrave Park. My first game um, for Manchester United was, was at Musgrave Park back in probably July 1990, so it's taken me a while to get here, but uh, it was a good occasion. You know, I mean, it was a good game. Um, good, great crowd turned out. Um, so many great ex-players as well give their time up for a, a very good cause, and uh, I think hopefully it's been a good day and everybody's enjoyed it. Do you think there was a sense of... Um realisation amongst the, the, the players you mentioned there who weren't from Ireland of the significance of playing here today? I don't know, I don't know, you know what I mean, it's, it's, you know, they all, they all follow what's happening closely and all that and um, I think they were quite shocked about the size of the pitch, I think I, think I was quite shocked about the size of the pitch but uh, it, 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 it was good and I think the crowd enjoyed us, the main thing. Okay. It was difficult playing football a few years ago when I was sort of nearly retiring but that was very difficult but that's not obviously what it's about today. The game, I'd loved it to have been a little bit quicker for everybody, but the reality of it is the game was about obviously paying tributes to Liam Miller and what it showed that he is so, he's so popular in his home city, in his hometown, and obviously with all his teammates that he used to play for as well. And um, we put on the best show we possibly could on what is a very big pitch. Yeah, I was aware of it. I came over to Ireland probably couple of months ago now before the start of the Premier League season I was aware of it but the stadium was fantastic and uh, it was right that obviously there was as big a crowd here as possible to be able to celebrate uh, obviously Liam's life and I think for me uh, that's what it's all about today. Just being someone who's very respectful, um, worked hard always, applied himself well, popular with his teammates um, and obviously you've seen that today by you know, over the last seven or eight years, I've seen uh, quite a few of these types of sort of testimonial games uh, and games try to be nice, but I've never seen such a good out of players come for somebody and that just tells you what everybody thinks of obviously Liam. Obviously a very poignant afternoon, um, but it seemed to go exceedingly well. Yeah, fantastic, great turn out. I think the result was all irrelevant, you know, it was all about uh, Liam, Liam's family are the beneficiaries and... Uh, it was a great day. Everybody was loved it, and the fans were brilliant. So excellent. And the turnout, you know, from the quality players who turned out today, that was an well. It just goes to the... show that you know, Liam was held in such high esteem, and you know, uh, players have gone out their way today. You know, top players, and with you know, they got everybody's got their own things to get on with. But they went out of their way. They give up their time to um, to pay respects to Liam and his family, which I thought was amazing today. Given the size of the pitch, we'd glad you weren't playing. I'd love to play, but I'm awaiting an operation on my knee. That's the only reason I wasn't out there. But uh, all the same, I'll be at the dinner tonight and everything. So I just wanted to... I played with Liam. He came through as a young boy at Celtic, as you know. And, uh, you know, it's just such a shame that he's not with us no longer. But um, hopefully now, you know, we've, we've, uh, we can give some, uh, um, you know, some sort of um, happiness in terms of show the family you know how much he meant to so many people and uh you know he was much loved and uh today w was a brilliant occasion for him well yeah you know it's for somebody that's lost his life and he's left a young family it's just, you know it's the most devastating thing that can ever happen to a, to a human being but um putting football aside you know somebody's lost their life and everybody's come out to pay respects and uh, that's what it's all about really Atmosphere was great, especially when the old uh, Mexican wave started to go on at the end. Even me and Martin were getting up and doing it in the end, so uh, I better go. Take care. Cheers.